In this video, we will talk about dictionaries and functions again. Dictionary is a data structure. Dictionary like list is a mutable data type. They are also iterable objects, that is, we can throw them in loops, and uh, they are partly similar to lists. Only the reference to the values of the dictionary is performed not by the index, but by the key. Real life examples. Actually, the dictionaries themselves. Take an explanatory dictionary. Let's suppose you need to find the meaning of a word. We find an unfamiliar word in the dictionary and, on the contrary, read its meaning. In this case, the word itself is the key of the dictionary and its meaning is the value of the key. Another example. Your phone book can also be a dictionary. To call you need a phone number. You search for the desired phone by the person's name. And the person's name, in this context, will be the dictionary key. That is, data in dictionaries are organized in key-value pairs. So let's create one. For example, person. Syntax literal are curly braces. And after the opening curly brace, I specify a key. For example, name. Then a column. And then corresponding value for that key. John. Let's say the last name will be doll. And um, let's say age will be 18. There is another way to create a dictionary object, is uh, to use the dict function. I call the dict function. Here the name parameter is a key and then we explicitly assign a value to it. And uh, the dict function will return a dictionary with the one key, the name key, and its value will be John. Dictionaries can have infinitely many keys. Keys can only be immutable objects like numbers or strings. But key values can be any data, even function objects. How do I get the data I need? Data can be accessed in two ways. The first one just like in lists, only the key is specified instead of the index. For example, person, and inside brackets I have to specify the key. I have only one key, the name, and I got the value of this key. Let's look at what happens if I try to access a key that is not in the dictionary. Let's say phone then I'm using the person dictionary and try to get the phone. And I get an exception that there is no such key. Therefore, in some cases, to avoid such situation, it is advisable to use the special method of dictionaries get. It's the second way to get values from the dictionary. Phone, for example, person and I'm calling the get method and pass into it the key that value I want to get phone there is no exception anymore but uh, I got non-type I will talk about it a little bit later the get method can take a second argument which is the default value the get method can take a second argument, which is the default value. That is, uh, if the required key is not in the dictionary, I will receive this second argument as the value. Sometimes it is necessary. For example, and the phone variable got 911 value because uh, the person dictionary has no 
phone key and this value was used for assignment. Another situation. Let's suppose I need to get the value of some key, for example, a phone, but if it is not in the dictionary, it should be created there with some value. And there is a set default method for this. Person has uh, only one key, the name. So let's get the value of the phone key. I'm using the person dictionary and call it set default method. The first argument is the name of the key, which value I want to get. If there is no phone key in the person dictionary, then I want to create this key and assign to it this value, the second argument. And phone got this value. What happened here? I tried to get the value of the phone key, but there is no phone key in the person dictionary. And then it was created by the set default method. And the second argument of the set default method was assigned to it as the value. And then the set default method returns the value of this newly created phone key. Person. We can see that the phone key was added to the person dictionary with this value. Dictionaries are iterable objects and can be looped through. If we treat the dictionary as a list, for example, the for loop will loop through its keys. And we got name and phones. This is equivalent to writing like this. For key in persons, person dictionary, and then I'm calling the keys method. that will return the same result. For item in person items method, it's also a dictionary method, that will return a tuple at each iteration. A tuple is an immutable list, where the first element is the key of the dictionary and the second its value. In addition to the get method, the most commonly used method is update method. As you might have guessed from its name, it updates the content of the dictionary which call it. For example, I have the person dictionary with the name John. Let's update this person dictionary with another dictionary. For example, let's create the D dictionary and the name will be N and it will also will have email key with some value. And now let's update the person dictionary with the D dictionary. And let's look at the person. And here we can see that the existing name key received a new value N and a new email key was added to the person dictionary. Well, in this same way, you can pass data into the update method in the form of variables and values assigned to them, as we did with the dect function. For example, person update, then I use the name of the key as a parameter of the update method, and uh, the new value will be, for example, 000 person. And uh, the phone key got a new value. And uh, now a couple of words about the non-type that we came across when I accessed a non-existent dictionary key. We can't say much about it, so I thought that making a separate video for the non-type would be too much. What is the non-type? It's a special data type that is meant to represent nothing, lack of anything. It's a necessary thing because, for example, zero 
in the terms of programming languages is a still an integer and so it has all the attributes of integers there zero and we can see that it is a, an integer the same goes for the empty strings there empty string it is a string it has attributes it has methods it is still a string empty but a string and so on empty lists are still lists empty dictionaries are still dictionaries and uh, when i accessed the dictionary for a non-existent key using the get method i got just none when else can you get none you can get none type when any function does not return any value for example let's define a function that will print something doesn't matter let's create a variable results and call the a function and uh, the result got nothing got non type this is because all functions in python actually return a value it's just that where we don't explicitly specify the return value implicit return is none like that def a return none or like that a return so if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching in my practical python web scrapping course we used dictionaries a lot and you will find out how to use them in practice so if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel Thanks for watching.